There's a scene in the latest episode that caught my eye when Dispo attacks Hit in his super speed. Champa didn't see him move, so he asked Vados if she saw his attack, and she did. Then the scene goes to Zeno. Zeno, the god of everything, the most powerful being in the whole Dragon Ball universe, he can't see Dispo's attacks, but on the other hand, the Daishinkan can. So me seeing that, I was like, ha, he can't see his attacks? Isn't he the most powerful being out there? Why can't Zeno see Despo's movement? Then a question came to mind. If you know Dragon Ball, if you want to be the strongest, you don't need just power. You need the fighting chops to back that power. If you have power but can't fight, then it's useless. So does Zeno know how to fight or is he just a kid with a lot of power? We have to look at the history of Zeno. Zeno is the god of everything. He created all the universes and beings. There was 18 universes and he destroyed 6 of them because he was angry. He got the power, but what about the fighting? We never saw him fight. We saw him destroying a universe in the Goku Black Saga, but never fight. When Goku and Zeno first met, Goku shaked his hand. He was able to lift Zeno without a sweat, so Zeno doesn't have the body of a fighter. It's never been stated that he can fight. It was just stated that he can destroy everything, but never engage in a fight. And this also raises the question, is Zeno even the strongest being in the Dragon Ball universe? It's stated that he is the most powerful, but is he? In Dragon Ball, strength doesn't mean that much. Just look at the ascended Super Saiyan form. It's more powerful than a Super Saiyan. But if the two are put against each other, the Ascended Super Saiyan will lose. It's like, if you have the strength to knock your opponent in one punch, but you can't land that punch, then what's the point? So that proves that strength isn't everything. Zeno has strength, but not the fighting ability. Let's say he's bent against the Daishinkan. In my opinion, he will lose. The Daishinkan has strength and the ability to fight, so he will be able to defeat Zeno. But I admit, most of the beings that exist will not stand a chance against Zeno. But if you put Zeno against another godly power, like the Daishinkan, who's almost as drunk as Zeno, he will lose. I say this. Because every god has an angel, and every angel is stronger than the god of that universe. And Zeno's angel is the Daishinkan, so there's a possibility that the Daishinkan is stronger than Zeno, or almost as strong as him. And by the looks of it, Zeno is being controlled by the Daishinkan. He's just a god that acts like a kid. He doesn't know what to do, and that's obvious. In the rules of the tournament, the gods will die, but the angels will not. And it's clear, that's because the Daishinkan doesn't want to kill his sons. Zeno is like a fool of a god, and the power in the hands of fools doesn't last. And when they fall, then the true holder of power will rise. So those are my thoughts on Zeno. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below, and please leave a like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And saying that this is it for the video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.